Hi everybody and welcome back. I have a Hobby Lobby haul I want to share with you. This is some of the things I got to uh, make Christmas stuff with. Everything I bought was on sale. I'll move this big bag and I'll take it up a little bit at a time. Okay, so I bought these. These were in the clearance aisle. They were marked down to a dollar twenty-four piece. And they're dried flowers. They're in the the pinks and the yellows. So I'm gonna use them for my crafts. Next year I'm gonna make those hot co cocoa bombs for the craft there. And so all their molds were half off, so they were ended up being five dollars a piece. And I was gonna buy two of them, and I started thinking why I still can make three at a time. I really like these ones. If you can see all the designs. And I could do like white chocolate and then the dark chocolate on them or all dark chocolate. But then I turned around and I'm going to buy, I bought one of these. Um, they had the plastic ones. I think they were only like, would have been like a dollar eighty or two dollars. But um, like I was talking with the lady and I kind of know from experience, the plastic ones, things crack easier and you have to get them cold. These, I mean, you could push on them and everything, and it will make them nice. People use them to make bath bombs, but if you're going to do bath bombs and chocolate, don't use the same mold. I would suggest not to do that, but I'm going to, next year, do a lot of uh, hot cocoa bombs. I'm going to probably play around with that. They did have the chocolates on sale, but I didn't get them. Then I'm going to, this is another one that I bought. It was half off. I got all that glitter from those flowers in here. They put them in here, but uh, I have to really clean these because I can see all the glitter on them. I'm going to make these um, other things next year. You put fill this with chocolate. You put a spoon in it, and you sprinkle some crushed candy canes and some mini marshmallows on it. And I'm going to make some of those for the craft fair next year. So it's just some ideas to think about. Right now, all that's half off. Um, I don't know if there's a picture in here yeah these are the um, spoon things that I'm talking about if you can see them aren't those cute looking but I'm gonna make those um, I have this bomb pop one but I, I don't I'm not gonna do that so I got the paper to remind myself what I was gonna do then I bought two of these these were really cute. They're both the same, so I'll only take one out. They were marked down to $2.50. They were $10. It says Cabin Sweet Cabin, and it says it on both sides, and it sits in here. Look at how cute that is. So I got two of those. And then I bought a bunch of these. These were 90% um, off, so I paid uh, 40 cent a piece for those, and I paid 9 cent a piece for these ones. So I got a bunch of those too for my candy jar things. Let's see if there's something else in here that I could show you. I don't think so. No, it's just something else I was going to make. So anyways, then I got um, the brushes to help uh, paint the chocolate in the molds. These were half off, so it still was five, uh, $5, but they're good brushes. I made sure that the hairs wouldn't fall out of them. This was on the clearance rack, was $5 for $0.49. Cents. They only had one. I was kind of bummed. I got a lot of that stuff. Then um, I bought these for the granddaughters earplugs. I got them for $1.24. Look how cute those are. I hope you can see them. They're unicorns. And then, let's see what else I got. I bought two of these. They were half off. Handmade, uh, just for you. One in the gold and one in the silver. So I got those. I bought this clear acrylic uh, transparent base paint for some crafts that I'm going to do. 39 cents. That's another one of those. Uh, these earplugs are unicorns too, so I got those, and then what, I bought this for my daughter, and I'm going to paint all their names on it, 
the people that usually make these, we have a person at the craft fair that makes these right while you're there, and they write your names on them, and they weren't there this year. This ended up costing me um, 90 cents. So i got to make sure I don't break that. And then what else? Is, I forgot a lot of the stuff I bought. I spent $50 at Hobby Lobby. Oh, my knob for my closet door thing. And I bought two stamps. So... I did really good. I haven't been shopping in months and months and months, and I haven't bought hardly anything, and I spent $50 there. This one says, inspired by life, handcrafted by, and it says one-of-a-kind art creation by, and you put your name on it. These weren't on sale, but they were only $4. Then I bought a different one that says, uniquely handcrafted, uh, limited edition. So I got those. And then the last two things I bought from there, these are all half off. All the paper studio is half off. This is so cool. I don't want to move that a mess my light up, but it's all the bumblebees. It has all the different um, papers and bumblebees and everything in there. So that was my haul from there. I will come back and show you my other haul from um, Michael's. I mean, Hobby. yeah, Michael's. This was Hobby Lobby. And I spent $50 on all this stuff. And everything I bought was on sale except for the two stamps that I bought. They were not on sale. Thank you. Have a great day for watching. I appreciate it.